Um, and finally, uh, a grant uh, that we've provided to uh, Dr. Uh, Zeman Meyer, who is at the University of Basel, and he is going to be looking at the pancreas, which is a, uh, you know, it's obviously, it's not your brain, it's a peripheral tissue that's important in regulating metabolism. Um, and, you know, specifically at pancreatic beta cells. So we do think very much about the hypothalamus and how important that is in PWS, but there's also evidence that the pancreas, which also expresses, um, you know, some of these PWS genes might also be regulating some of the metabolism and the metabolic disturbances that we see in PWS. Um, and the pancreas is important for secreting a lot of the hormones that regulate that appetite uh, satiety and general metabolic health. Um, so this study will look at the role of those PWS genes in pancreatic beta cells. It's, it's kind of a, a first step in seeing how we can uh, potentially modify the pancreas or the function of the pancreas to help normalize metabolism in PWS. But the first thing you have to do is you have to really understand how the PWS genes are expressed in the pancreas and what their function is. And that's what um, you know, this study is really focused on. So this is a novel approach, you know, looking at peripheral organs rather than the brain and how the loss of PWS genes in those organs might be altering the metabolism. Um, it is a young investigator who's new to PWS, um, but he has expertise in, uh, sorry, that's my daughter. <laughs> um, he's a young investigator who's new to PWS, but he has expertise in uh, endocrine and uh, uh, endocrine function. And the long-term goal is to lead to a new understanding of the role of the pancreas in PWS and metabolic disturbances uh, and possible approaches to target pancreatic function.